Hey guys, Ethereal Awakening here doing an individual zodiac sign reading. This one is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your north node. And I wanted to throw in these videos before we get into it. Um, I was talking with a friend at work who had subscribed to the channel and she was like, yeah, I found you, I subscribed, but I really don't get it. And I was like, well, that's kind of what the comments are for. In fact, if you have a question, it may not be that something isn't resonating with what I'm saying, but maybe perhaps that there's some questions you have, please leave a comment. Please ask the question. This is an open, I want to include everyone, no one excluded. Just because something is bothering you about what I'm saying or you don't understand, if it's bothering you, it's trying to pull something out for healing. If you don't understand, I want to open the door for the discussion so I, maybe I can respond or other viewers can respond and we can get the conversations going that helps this planet emotionally evolve. Um, that's my goal is to just help the planet evolve. And uh, it's a beautiful time to be on the planet during this evolutionary period. So for all of us to jump in and really want to be key role, role you know, have a role in that, then this is kind of where it begins. Just like a baby starting their cycle, you know, starting to walk and toddle, we're just kind of fumbling around trying to figure out how to best insert our assistance into this planet's evolution. So please join in on a conversation and maybe we can get some help for anybody who might um, just want to have a conversation about something I'm saying. Um, yeah, so let's begin this reading. This one is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your North Node. Spirit, what messages do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Taurus? Spirit, what messages do we have for Taurus? Spirit, what messages do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Spirit, what messages do we have for Taurus? All right. Thank you in advance. First two cards are current energy. The devil. Along with eight of cups. Heart space. The fool. Page of swords. And possible outcome, temperance, along with Page of Pentacles. All right. And then underlying energy or what you might not be aware of, we've got justice, along with the Seven of Cups and the Empress. So there's some heavy hitters all through this uh, reading. Each, each space has some major heavy hitters. So, right in between this Justice card and the Empress, we have the Seven of Cups. And I'm looking at that Seven of Cups as chasing unfulfilling and, you know, pursuits. Chasing pipe dreams. Chasing the, the temporary pacification of instant gratification. <laughs> you know, that would be, those are things that we use to um, masturbate our mind with. You know, we justify doing shitty things with what could be in one of these seven cups here. We, you know, we're gambling, we're sexing too much, we're on our phones too much, we're at work too much, we're doing things too much, too much. Because on either side of that Seven of Cups, we have the Empress and Justice kind of like, well, you're not really going to find the Justice, you know, karmic justice for yourself and loving, nurturing ideas and, 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 and even, you know, the relationships with your, your family and friends and, and coworkers that are balanced and equal and fair and all that by seeking out all those unfruitful endeavors. 
this is I believe this is asking squarely when I look at this current energy you're wanting to leave this behind this is the eight of cups right there with the devil so this would be recognition of compulsive behaviors chasing pipe dreams things that we mentally masturbate with <laughs> Wanting, recognizing that those things are not bringing us the fulfillment we want. And wanting to get away. Wanting to take off. Take the F off. Now, how do you leave as habitual creatures we are? How do you leave all those wonderful things that stroke our ego behind our ego ooh, the death of an ego is painful I there's no other way because as you are letting go of the things that the ego has clung to to build its empire within you he throws every punch and every low blow to keep you that he, he doesn't want to die the ego does not want to die. The ego's only job is to live in you and flourish in you. And to be the ruling factor, to be your king, your ego. Your false ego wants to set up shop inside you and have you doing the dirtiest of dirty and feeling good about it and staying there and not, and not wanting to help this planet evolve. But you're recognizing that. The recognition of that is the first step. Because then you come to your heart space, and here's the page of swords, and that honest, valiant effort completely got his back to the fool. I don't, I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to begin. Now, this possible outcome, there's the key. There's the key. How do we begin? This page is ready to do something. To temper the emotions and that spiritual motivate that motivation whatever that motivation is this page is looking squarely at Michael and is like all right angels God what do I do page is very physical and it's just a page but this page of swords is like I don't know how to begin in this page of Pentacles honesty Complete and cutting out all the bullshit. What is she? What is the justice card in your underlying energy? She's got a sword straight up. So does this page. Cut out the bullshit. And tempering the emotions and the motivations. Whatever those motivations are. If they're motivations to go gamble. Motivations to go seek money higher than you know more than anything else motivations to work or, or you know exercise or to stroke your ego whatever it is that you're using <clears throat> and it's kind of like this if you look down on other people what gives you the right Whatever pops into your head, that first thing that popped in your head when I said that. Well, I look down on people who abuse their kids. Okay, well, then how is the relationship with your children? Did you ever, you know, honestly, when you come from a place of balance and justice and fair, you recognize that what you're looking down at other people for are the things that are you, you have some room to improve in. But I'm not as bad as it's what's traumatic for one is different for another. Some of us can handle. So you're jumping outside of yourself and saying that the abuse or the neglect that you've shown your children at whatever, even spoiling your child, throwing them into all the materialistic glitters of the world. That's a form of abuse. Sorry, because now you're 
instead of giving your time, you know, my, my, my parents were not abusive. They were neglectful. And I did, my, my father used corporal punish, punishment. But you know what? I don't care about any of this. I wished he would have told me he loved me more. I wish my parents would have hugged me more. When I want to be completely honest, I look back on my childhood and those are the things that I wished happened more often. I, they didn't because I had to find that within myself. I had to recognize that what my parents did not give me in love and time, I had to do that for me. I had to find the space and the strength to despite whatever was going on outside of myself to do that for myself and recognize what a benefit that is to me to not have to rely on my mom and dad saying it now I can look at it exactly as it was in my circumstance like my parents couldn't give me something they didn't have and it's not that they didn't have love and time it's just that they didn't know how and this is the how to this is the how that you're asking yourself how give yourself the love time and energy that you would whatever it is whatever you feel like well Pete, what about murderers what about them how many things have you murdered in your life how many good things did you have going that you completely effed off it's a form of murder quit acting like somebody's done things worse so i'm okay it's not about what somebody else is doing it's about you bro it's about you and this is you squarely looking at how do i heal the things from the past and use a motivation for what i've gone through all the shit that i've gone through all the shit that i've put myself through and how do i use that as a motivating factor to evolve myself because that's exactly what this possible outcome is I'm going to go ahead and switch around in this heart space the page of swords with the fool. So now they're looking eye to eye. Begin with honesty. Brutal self-honesty. And at this level, I'm not even going to say brutal. Just start peeling back those layers where you don't have the space or the time or the energy to compare your life to anybody else. But just make the corrections in yours. I hope this has helped, Taurus.